Praise the Lord, everyone. Uh, my name is Mario, and I really just want to take a few minutes today um, and talk about Kanye West's uh, conversion to Christianity. All right, so I know I'm coming really late to this topic, but I really kind of wanted to uh, sit back and observe and kind of see how things pan out before I kind of uh, put my opinion out there. Now, before I do this, uh, I'm going to give three reasons why I do believe Kanye is truly converting to Christianity. I think he already has converted, and I think he's just starting his journey now with Christ. And honestly, it's a great thing uh, to see. Uh, but first and foremost, I just want to say that I'm not advocating for any of his music. I've personally only listened to two songs on his album. I personally choose not to listen to it. Just because when I was in the world, I listened to a lot of Kanye West music and uh, even listening to his Christian music now, it does remind me a little bit back of those older songs I used to listen to, um, and I just choose not to. So ultimately, it's whatever your pastor says uh, that you need to really adhere by. I mean, he knows his sheep and his congregation. So uh, with that being said, uh, Kanye West's conversion to Christianity is just in something that's so interesting to me. Um, when it first you know, came upon uh, the media, I was really kind of skeptical. I was ambitiously skeptical. I mean, I really wanted this to be true, but I wanted to kind of see what fruits are being bared. And uh, I'm happy to say this, uh, after I give my three reasons, I'm convinced that this is a true conversion and he's bearing a lot of great fruit. And just never forget that God can use anybody. Uh, many times in the Bible, God used saints, but he also used a lot of sinners. Um, and you and I are sinners too, so let's never forget. Let's uh, always keep ourselves in check and be humble from where we were to where we are now. Um, if you're a, if you're a believer of Christ, but uh, the first thing that really convinced me that this is a true conversion is his title on his album. Um, Kanye was very purposeful, and everything that I'm going to point out, he's very purposeful on what he's doing here. Um, he's doing it with a lot of thought behind it. And I think he's doing it with great intentions. But it would have been very easy for Kanye West to release this gospel album and say, God is king, right? But God is such a generic term in, in our culture. Um, athletes can be God. Musicians can be God. I think even one time he tried to exalt himself as God. Um, but obviously he's been humbled uh, since then. And uh, he is very bold and he understands that by titling his album, Jesus is King, he understands that in fact, Jesus is King. And it's not some universal supreme being with no name, but that King in fact does have, have a name. And many of his interviews I've been watching, I've noticed he's interchanged Jesus and God multiple times. He understands them to be the same and it's beautiful. Um, it shows that he really, he really gets it. Um, in one of his songs, Closed on Sunday, that I've listened to, um, he says in the title or in his lyrics, I bow down to the king upon the throne. Um, it's referring to the verses Isaiah 6, 1 and Revelations 4, 2 that talk about one being sit up, seated upon the throne, that the Lord, he looked up with his eyes and saw the Lord upon the throne. I mean, these are biblical verses that he's bringing out. Um, on top of that, in that particular song, I think that was the one I was most impressed with. He talks about coming together and praying. He talks about listening and obeying. Um, he understands that it's not just about believing anymore, but you have to obey the word. Um, he, he's bringing that up multiple times through his music on the lyrics I've been reading. Um, that it, it, is, it is not just faith that will get you saved, but it's faith and works. Um, because James in, in, in the Bible, he said, faith without works is dead, right? You can have great faith, but if you have no works behind it, you don't show that you really repented and you're still out there sinning and, and enjoying the wor world, your faith is just as dead um, because it's supported by your works. So I think he's really understanding it, that listening and obeying the word of God is part of being a Christian. You have to talk the talk, but you also have to walk the walk. Um, another thing that uh, really impressed me was he pointed out the spirit of Jezebel right there in that song. Wow, how bold is it to point out that spirit? Uh, in Revelations 2.20, God um, reveals to the, to the apostle John 
that he has a personal vendetta against the spirit of Jezebel. And he says in that in that line that Jezebel doesn't even stand a chance. And he's being very bold that you will not take over my home, my family. Jezebel, you have no chance. And so uh, he even goes to, to he goes uh, one step further in his testimony that um, he starts using Bible verses like, um, you know, Isaiah saying that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. He's really understanding that Jesus is on his side and no matter how far he's fallen away or he had fallen away, Jesus, he all he had to do was just turn around, give his life to Christ and start his walk, um, his new life um, being a Christian. And he's, he's giving the battle to Jesus Christ, which I think is really amazing uh, here. Uh, the second thing that I believe um, convinces me that this is a true conversion is that, that all his pop-up services that I've seen, the little clips I've seen, I, I personally haven't seen a full service. Um, I'd personally rather listen to an apostolic message <laughs> um, um, other than that. But he dresses like everyone else. Um, it would have been so easy for Kanye West to dress different so everyone knows who he is. As a matter of fact, as you're watching this video, whether you've listened to his music, old or new, you probably already knew who Kanye West was, but he purposely dresses the same because I think he's he's understanding he needs to be humble about it. Uh, he understands that um, he wants to do this for God, and so he doesn't want his audience to focus on him. He wants to for him, for the audience to focus on the message, right? Don't focus on the messenger, focus on the message. Uh, focus on where the message came from, which is from Jesus. And uh, he's, he's being very, again, he's being very purposeful. He's doing this on purpose. It's not by accident. And I think it's amazing. I mean, he understands he has a big platform now. A lot of eyes are going to be on him. But as long as he can, can continue, continues humbling himself and giving the fight to Jesus, I think... He's going to come out victorious. And the last thing that I will say that really convinced me that he understands what it is to be a Christian and that he has converted is uh, his his testimony that he gave to Lakewood last week. Um, he said something that I thought was very interesting. He said, repentance is not a one-time thing. It's a daily thing. And, and to be honest with you, I don't even know if that message has even been preached in that church, right? Uh, we already know kind of Joel Olstein's message of prosperity and wealth and and God will always bless you if you remain faithful. But to be repenting daily, to understand that when you gave your life to Christ, it was not a one-time decision. It was a daily repentance. And he, and he talks about that. He says, it's a daily repentance away from sin, away from this culture. I will not be a slave to it. Because uh, again, he says, Any, uh, no weapon formed against me shall prosper, right? And um, you and I both know the message of Acts 2.38 being the plan of salvation. Remember, remember, Peter's first words was, repent and then be baptized in the name of Jesus and receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Um, Repentance is such a huge theme in the Bible that Kanye is understanding that. Wow, it, it, I did, I'm not doing this just for one day. I'm doing this every single day. I am taking up my cross and walking uh, with the Lord. I'm, I'm striving to be like Christ. And uh, it's been a beautiful thing to watch. I'm, I'm honestly really impressed. I hope this isn't a blimp. I pray that it's not. Um, God is working. And these are just more signs that God is coming closer. There will be a great falling away from the church, but there will also be a great, um, there'll be a great surge of numbers of uh, those who, who have decided the world is not for them. And just like Kanye West, he is encouraging those to take the road least taken, take the small road and get your family to heaven. Um, I think this is amazing. And this is what we pray for, right? That the world turns away from God. So don't be so skeptical. Don't be so judging at first. Again, you and I were in that, that exact same position years ago. And now we're here. And so uh, just continue loving the brother and keep praying for him. Um, I hope he does more. And I hope, he, I hope that man gets baptized in Jesus' name, receives the gift of the Holy Ghost, receives this apostolic message. And wow. 
what, a, what an incredible weapon, what an incredible soldier we could have in God's army. So anyways, this is my opinion. If you found value to it, uh, like it, share it. And uh, anyways, God bless you all. Bye.